All right, what's going on? I hope you are ready for a crazy video because today we're gonna be out in Vegas. Actually, that was a couple days ago, but you're gonna see it today. We're gonna be putting up a feeder. We're gonna be dealing with hogs in the trap and we're gonna be hunting with a fan and cooking dinner. It, I mean, this is a crazy day and I'm super stoked you're with me. So the first thing I'm gonna do today is put up a feeder. I've been looking for the past year and a half for a feeder that I really, really liked. And I found it. I'll show you why. Now look, see how it's got all the whole corn, grain, like Milo, cracked corn, millet, whole, everything. Holy mackerel. You may wonder why I go through so much time, effort, and money with these feeders. The reason is, it gives the game a reason to be here. This food plot in the spring, I'm gonna, uh, I'll plant, and so you'll have tons of forage. But year round, whether it floods or not, the feeder is gonna continue producing feed for the game, no matter what the weather does. And we put them out to keep game on the land. Now, whether it's me and my family, or the boys, or even fans, it gives us the opportunity to come to an area, see game, and have the opportunity at taking something. Now, I just had Zeb and his dad, Lewis, come down from Eustis, Florida. We had a great time that ended with an amazing dinner. Here we go. I got a food plot about 200 yards, 300 yards down the road. That right there? Yes, sir. That's a deer. That's a running track. See the dew claws? Yes, sir. That's it's either a muddy ground or a running track. Mm -hmm. Young deer, small deer. That's a hog track. Turkey track. out with a couple, you know, 15, 20 pound piglets. Off we go, next spot. You ever had swamp cabbage? I got a big old fat hog back strap. I got, that's a swamp cabbage heart. And we're about to make some cracker food. Look at this. Look at that, you know. Look at the layer of fat on that piece of meat. That is beautiful. We're gonna render it down in this pan right here. All right, that's all we're gonna use. We're gonna use a little Everglades rub. Kosher salt. A Lot of meat there so you can be liberal with this salt. And black pepper. cast iron skillet. We're gonna cook the whole meal in this skillet right here. First, we wanna render it down. Look at this, y'all. That's what I'm looking for right there. You want all that caramelization. That's rendering the fat down. Hey, check it out. I'm trying to speed this process up a little bit. So I've caramelized my meat really well. And I know y'all can't see my head, but it's here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is, 
Look how nice that is. I'm just gonna cut this into some steaks like that. See how it's still raw inside there? And we're just gonna let it start cooking a little bit more. So as you can see, our meat is nice and caramelized on all sides. It's looking beautiful. I got some, uh, this is some diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. We're just gonna dump it right in there. Then I'm gonna start cutting me some cabbage. That's what you're looking for there. And you want it to come off nice, big old fat chunks. And when you feel it start to hang up, cut off another boot. Take another jar of this. You cannot do this, I'm just telling you, without original Everglades. This stuff, is the best on swamp cabbage. It just smells right, oh my gosh. So we're gonna go out and make a campfire, let this stew for about 30, 40 minutes. There's something about the sound, the smell, and the light of a fire that makes camp perfect. Cool, boy. Get some of that meat on there. Lord, I thank you so much for this day and I thank you for this food. And I thank you for all of our many blessings that you've given us. Lord, please keep us healthy and keep us safe. Nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, brother. This is your first time eating swamp cabbage, huh? Nothing but love and goodness right there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We don't want to be rude and make y'all watch us eat. I guarantee you it's good. What do you think? <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's what it's all about. Well, Zeb and Lewis, sorry we didn't get a hog, but hunting is much more than killing. Hunting is about being out there, experiencing it, getting to see cool stuff. And I'm, I'm positive we did that. So now, let me show you guys where I find lots of the gear that I use. Hey, good morning everybody. Viva Las Vegas. I'm here at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino right here in, in Vegas. And I'm here for the 2018 SHOT Show. So the first thing I do every morning, get up. I almost always get a five hour energy. I don't drink coffee, so these are like my giddy up. And then like a little power bar. And a lot of you guys know, I drink way too much stinking Coke, but this is Las Vegas. We've been staying at the MGM and uh, we're heading to the Sands Convention Center. So you have two levels of shot, <laughs> upstairs and downstairs. Upstairs is pretty much where all your monster booths are and um, a lot of the bigger companies. Although there's some huge companies downstairs. What are you doing? I'm eating breakfast. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Fuel for the day. Brad Smith, the man never stops. <laughs> All right, what the Robert? <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the scoop. Whenever we roll into SHOT Show or ICAST or any, any, any other big industry trade show, it's a series of events. One is meeting with people that you have a relationship with. Two, it's where I look for new products. I mean, literally, there are hundreds of thousands of square feet of everything in the world outdoors is here. As I walk these aisles, there's like endless stuff to see. And uh, 
you guys are gonna see a bunch of really cool stuff this year. So I gotta get to work. All right, so now we're downstairs and I know we're kind of bouncing around a lot, but this is more of the look downstairs. It's like lower ceilings, tons of really cool companies. This is Silver Stag's booth right here. And uh, we're gonna walk around and show you a bunch of that as well. But I gotta say hey to Brad real quick. My day is like, just like that, I'm back. Vegas is always a blast. It's where we all get together. Um, I know many, many people in the outdoor hunting and shooting industry. Um, it's made up of a bunch of companies, but all the companies are made up of people. And the relationships that you create with people like y'all and other companies and other people from all over the world, that's what makes life enjoyable. I was gonna include a lot more into this video. Like, we've been out, we've been catching so many hogs in the trap, it's not even funny. Well. But, mama's cooking steak, the kids are going crazy, she's feeding Emma over there. Arya's running around like a mad woman. <laughs> yeah, Nox! I love you guys and, and certainly appreciate you being a part of the Arrington household. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care, God bless. We got. <laughs> we got.